I'm Robert Malty with Maltby's Minute on the Market, May 2015. Buffett versus Yellen. Who do you believe? Last week, Warren Buffett, in an interview, stated that he felt the stock market would actually be cheap if interest rates stayed at current levels for a longer-term period of time. However, if rates were to go back to historical types of levels, uh, then the market might look to be at the higher end of the historical spectrum. We feel that the catalyst, as we've been seeing over the last couple of years of this market, is the corporation. They have got $2 trillion on the balance sheet earning zero, and they need to do something. So as long as, which dilutes their earnings, as long as we have this relationship of an earnings yield, that is very attractive compared to their cost of capital, cost of debt, they will continue to use that capital to buy back shares and mergers and acquisitions activities. In fact, that has been the leading inflow of capital uh, over the last couple of years and the fuel to the fire of the equities market. So uh, what would have to happen to change this correlation? Well, we'd have to have that spread change. If you look at 2007, where we are today versus that peak in 07, this market, would you'd have to have uh, interest rates rise over 2% or 200 basis points. If we look at this market to the first bubble, the tech bubble, you'd have to have interest rates rise about 5, 5.5%. So there's a little bit of room, a little bit of flexibility here. So um, Warren Buffett went on to say that bonds are expensive and stocks are cheap. We can deal with that. Yellen, Fed Chair Janet Yellen, on Wednesday described the stock market valuations as high and said that the equity markets at this value uh, point are generally quite high, particularly in biotech and small caps. Looking at the P.E. ratio in a fishbowl, uh, we're at a 15% premium looking at just that. Not exactly nosebleed country, but yes, a little bit high. Others feel that a risk could be declining earnings into next year. Well, this quarter, earnings are projected to be down 1%. For the year, they're projected to be up a paltry 1%, pretty flat. However, if you account for one-offs like the lower oil price down 40% in the last 12 months, and the strong dollar up 20% in the last 12 months. Adjusted for that, earnings actually are showing a pretty healthy growth rate of 7 or 8%. The yelling comments harken back to uh, 96, uh, the irrational exuberance uh, quote from uh, Alan Greenspan. The market went on to rip-roar another 100% in the next uh, three or four years. Looking at the valuations, which Yellen believes are high at 18, note that in 1992, at the very start of the 90s bull market, that was the valuation level of the market. So whom do you side with, the billionaire investor or Janet Yellen, the head of the chair? I leave that to you. This is Maltby's Minute on the Market.